let us trisect a line segment. In other words, we want to divide a line segment into three equal parts. For that purpose, we take a line segment AB. We have a line segment AB and we want to divide that line segment into three equal parts. For that purpose, we'll draw a parallel line, a pair of parallel line from point A and point B. Uh, we draw an angle, say measuring 60 degree from point A. We construct an angle measuring 60 degree from point A. So we have an angle measuring 60 degree from point A. Similarly, we draw an angle measuring 60 degree from point B. Remember our idea is just to draw a pair of parallel line from A and B respectively. So we can we can we will be using the idea that alternate interior angle are equal. So once again we will draw 60 degree from point B. Yes. And so we have drawn an angle that measures 60 degree from point A as well as B. Observe that these two lines are parallel. Are they parallel? Of course they are parallel. Next step is to divide or rather we take three points at an equal interval from point A as well as B. So We want three point equal at an equal interval from point A as well as B. One point, two point, three point. Similarly, maintaining the same interval, we took one inch unit. In fact, we choose one inch. So one point. 2 point and 3 point. Uh, we have taken 3 point from A at an each having gap of 1 inch A1, A2, A3. They are 1 inch apart from each other. Similarly from point B we take 3 point B1, B2, B3. These three points are equally spaced. Let's join AB3. We join AB3. And then we join A1B2. And then we join A to B1. Lastly, we join A3 B. Hmm. So we tend to get parallel lines. Can you say the reason why? That's because A A1 is parallel to B2 B3. These two are parallel. And since A A1 equal to B3 B2 equal, we, had, we have constructed such a way that these two lengths are equal. So opposite side of a quadrilateral are equal and they are also parallel, then quadrilateral has to be parallelogram. So it will make sure that these two lines are parallel. Similarly, we will have these two lines are also parallel and in fact all these four lines are parallel. Now it has an effect that uh, 
this length equal to one third of AB. And this length will also be equal to one third of AB. Similarly, this length will also be equal to one third of AB. In other words, we have trisected the line segment AB. In other words, we have divided the line segment AB into three equal parts. We have divided the line segment AB into three equal part. Wow. Please note that we cannot trisect an arbitrary angle using scale and compass only. But as we have shown here, we can trisect an arbitrary line segment into three equal part using scale and compass only. Not only that, we can take uh, A1, A2, A3, A4, that means four number of points, equally spaced and we can divide a line segment into four equal part. Similarly, if we proceed, we can divide a line segment into any number of equal parts. Though it is not possible to trisect or it is not possible to and divide a line segment into, sorry, divide an arbitrary angle into uh, three equal part or five equal part. We can always divide a line segment into any number of equal part by following this process.